20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. I am going to go over some brief things real quickly for all of those, for all of you who have not seen the 190 videos that are on YouTube. Let me summarize. Back in 2015, I got fired, didn't have a girlfriend, I got kicked out of where I was living, and a couple of few other things. So what did I do? I bought a one-way ticket to Thailand. I moved to Thailand with a one-way ticket. I got rid of all my worldly possessions, almost, gave my TV away, gave all my kitchen appliances to Goodwill, uh, packed up personal stuff and put them in boxes and in storage, and got a one-way ticket and went to where? Thailand. Hey Rob, what did you do before you got fired? Uh, I was a financial advisor for a big banking firm thing. Yeah, good job. It was great. Really missed those guys. Not at all. Rob, have you ever been married? Nope. Do you have any children? I have one son, but he is 22 years old. So he's a son, but he's a man. And he works. What kind of visa did you get, Rob? What kind of visa did you get, Rob? What kind of visa did you get, Rob? Do you work in Thailand, Rob? Rob, do you work in Thailand? What do you do for a living? How do you make money over there? What's going on? Do you work? What is your, what kind of job do you have? I got a tourist visa. You're not allowed to work in Thailand with a tourist visa. It says right on the tourist visa. Cannot work. And no, no work. I do videos, I put them on YouTube. I have people that support me on Patreon and PayPal. Speaking of which, this video is long overdue. Mike, Yari, Donald, Joey, Dan, Carlos, Adrian, Peter, Stewie. I just like that name. Stewie. Pierre. 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 Sorry. Didn't mean to botch your name up. I'm trying to be funny. Didn't work. Nicholas, Gerald, and Richard. Jasper. Mike. Tony. Simon. Mark. Dan. Bradley. Donald. Daniela. And Michael. To all of you who have supported me through subscribing, through PayPal, through Patreon, all of that, you have made it possible that in one month it'll be one year that I've been in Thailand and made the 190 videos that are up for you to watch. That on average is about four videos a week. And I just want to say really thank you so much because without you it would have stopped a long time ago and I really appreciate that you that, that you like watching these videos and I really do hope I make you smile and so let's see what else we can get into today okay and now more about this channel Rob why don't you put up a video every day and do daily vlogs like other vloggers um, one I'm not as interesting as those other vloggers generally speaking and I don't have the material to do stuff every day. I barely have enough material sometimes to get eight minutes in. You know, you guys say, oh, you should do longer videos. I could take a picture of the paint drying. I don't think you would like it. I could sit there and talk about myself a whole lot. I don't think you'd like it. I could show you the beach for an extra five minutes. That'd be kind of boring. So what I end up doing, seriously, is I just, when I see something or I have enough, I put together a video and even the last one that I did was, was a collage of crap, but it was showing me eating all the, the crazy junk food. That was just little bits and pieces from like weeks that I just went, man, I got all this little crappy stuff of me eating junk food. And I said, well, I can put that together and show me doing a junk food marathon, which I did. And then at the end, I went and had a wonderful Thai meal. And of course, I got so many uh, comments about not eating good, even though I'm eating Thai food at the end, and I thought that would be the hurrah. No. So, if I'm just putting together a video for no reason, just to get one out every day, I would lose you guys. You guys would sit there and say, this is stupid, and you would just not subscribe or watch again. That's the way I believe it works. I don't like watching boring videos. That's why I don't watch mine. Why did you pick Thailand, Rob? Why did you pick Thailand? Thailand's inexpensive to live. They have beautiful women. The beautiful women end up liking the American... Uh, the beautiful women actually like American men, just like the rest of the Westerners that are over here. I mean, they... So, why not? I came over here to go to Thailand for three months to take a break and figure out some things in life. I think we all should do that at some point. Some, of, some people said I had a midlife crisis. I didn't have a midlife crisis. I just didn't know what I wanted to do next. If you had any clue of all the jobs that I have done in my past, which I will write a book on, none of them make any sense. In about every five years, I recreate myself. 
So this time, I guess we're into year one of YouTuber, and we'll see how this goes in the next four years, providing that I'm still here in four years. Hey Rob, why don't you have a girlfriend? Really? Okay. I'll answer this one again, again and again and again. One, I haven't seen the girl that I would just go, oh, will you be my girlfriend? I haven't seen that girl. Um, I could go out with a different girl every night. You could go out here, and this, I'm gonna answer this question in two parts. How easy is it to get a girlfriend, and Rob, why do you not have a girlfriend? It's very easy to get a girlfriend. If you wanna go to a bar and get a bar girl for a girlfriend, you got it. One drink, one drink later, you got a girlfriend. All you have to do is talk to her, have a girlfriend, there you go, it's that easy. If you want a quality girl that maybe has a real estate company, a little bit more tricky, a little bit more difficult, and a lot more worth it. So what do I do? I enjoy meeting all of the women in Thailand that I have met. The ones that I have dated briefly, uh, the ones I've met in Bangkok, the ones I've met in Kamala, and I have dated. Why do I not vlog about my dating? Why? It's my, that's actually kind of personal, and I could tell you, yeah, you can date, but everybody knows you could date girls in Thailand, I thought. So off camera, just because you don't see me with, and you do see me with girls, I've shown you, I've shown you girls. Anyway, uh, I don't have one girlfriend, one solid girlfriend, because one, I haven't picked one, and two, I don't know if I'm gonna stay in Kamala. So far, I've been traveling around like every so many months, just pack up and go. Visas, visas, visas. Everyone wants to know the visas. I recommend that you get your visa to come to Thailand in your country. That's my recommendation. Yes, you can get on a plane and come here, but if you come here and you get a visa here at the airport, it's for 30 days. If you get it in your country, it's probably for 60 days. So I recommend doing that. And look at the website in your country to get a visa in Thailand. You can ask me all the questions you want, but they change the rules every day. Everyone has always asked me, why, how did you get a one-way ticket? I called them and I said, how do I get a visa if I only have a one-way ticket? And they told me, so call them. Uh, it could have changed by now. Maybe you can't do that anymore, I don't know. The rules for visas are constantly changing in Thailand, so there. How long did it take me to get accustomed to the weather in Thailand? Well, for 10 years before Thailand, I lived in Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota, Florida's heat and humidity are very similar to Thailand. So it took me probably about two or three years to get used to Florida. In Thailand, the only thing I can tell you is turn the burner on on your stove, if you have a stove. Put your hand over it about eight inches above the burner. And that's the way the sun feels in Thailand. It's direct heat. I mean, when you walk out into the sun in Thailand, it, it hits you. The other thing is you just get used to sweat. You're gonna sweat. You will sweat more. I've sweat more in Thailand than I have my whole life. Which brings me to another question. Rob, have you checked your health and blood pressure? Yes, I keep tabs on my blood pressure which yes, runs a little bit high sometimes because I eat junk food, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, but I have, since I moved to Thailand, I've lost about 20 pounds and my blood pressure went down because I did more exercise. It was hot, I lost weight, so a combination of both. Someone just said on a comment, we never see you drinking water. You drink tons of water over here. You go to the 7-Eleven store, the whole cooler on one wall is dedicated to water because you have to have your water here. I may not show you me drinking water all the time, but I'm constantly drinking water and beer and coffee and Coke. Okay, okay, is the water dangerous? Oh, how do I answer this? When the water leaves the treatment plant in Thailand, it is pure, safe water. The problem with the water in Thailand is not the water, it's traveling through the old ancient piping system. If there is damage in some of the pipes going from point A to point B, it could be contaminated. So they say, don't drink the water, tap, don't drink the tap water in Thailand is what they say. And that's because all over Thailand, you've got some new plumbing and you have some old plumbing and you don't wanna be on your holiday vacation for two weeks or two months and come down with a stomach bug that's gonna put you out of commission for a week. I mean, you just don't wanna do that. So just drink bottled water. And all the Thai restaurants that I've been to, the ice that they use is uh, clean ice the water that they use is clean water. They'll go get the big gallons of water and they'll pour it in the, yeah, you're, you're fine. 
I actually use tap water for my coffee, but I boil it in the microwave. I know it's terrible, I need a kettle, but I, that's, I use tap water every day for my coffee. What about the mosquitoes? <laughs> That's a whole nother story. Mosquitoes in Thailand are insane and they're small and they're everywhere. And can you avoid them? Yes, you can buy the spray or the lotion and they go for your ankles and your feet. Ooh, they love your ankles and feet. They get my arms too, but mainly the ankles and the feet. Uh, are they worse in some areas than other? Uh, yeah. I mean, when, in, when I was in Bangkok, they had a, they had a garden out back that had standing water with fish in it and stuff. That was worse, mosquitoes bred there. If you're sitting somewhere in Kamala at the beach, it's, it's not as much, you know, wind's blowing, you know, it's just, it's just not as bad sometimes, but they're everywhere, they're, they are everywhere. I usually get bit probably four times a day minimum, usually. I'd say that's about right. But if you're one of those people that have that sweet skin or sweet smell to you, you're gonna get eaten up. I've, many have come over here and said it's just, they get 20 some bites a day. I'm like, man, but that's not common. So just bring the lotion or just buy it when you get here, spray it on. How often have I been sick in Thailand? Uh, I got, okay, when I first got to Thailand for the first week, my stomach was upset. That was after three days of being here. I ate or drank something my stomach wasn't used to, which I think is normal for anyone. So I had to go to the uh, pharmacy, which was right across the street, and I got some antibiotics, and I took them for four days, and I was fine. When I left and went to America and came back, the week I came back after that, my stomach was upset again. That was when I was in Fatia, and I did. I got the antibiotics, it cleaned it right up. Uh, and one time I had a cold, and this was the weird thing. I got the cold, I had the sneezing, the runny nose, the sore throat, the swelling, the ears, the headache, the ugh. And in 24 hours, it was gone. I didn't take one drop of medicine. That was the weirdest sickness I had ever had. I got sick for one day, and I was completely over it by the next day. I knock on wood. There's a doctor right in Camelo, but I haven't had to go see him thus far, hoping I won't have to go see him. And even if you get the, uh, oh man, dengue fever, you're gonna go see a doctor if you get the dengue fever. It's just gonna be a hard week. It's gonna be bad flu. Yeah, I know many people that have gotten dengue fever. They don't. They didn't like it. But I've seen one. You know, you can bounce back quicker from it, or it could be something that just gets you down for two weeks. So how do you do the laundry here? Uh, there's two different ways. For 30 baht, you can do a load of laundry, and then they may have a dryer there. Some places have dryers, some don't. It's very common in Thailand for people to just hang dry their clothes. So 30 baht usually for a washing machine or you can pay by the, the kilogram and actually have someone do your laundry and they'll fold it for you and if it's a little bit more if you want it ironed. So there's plenty of places here to take care of your laundry. That is nothing that you need worry about. Even if you had your own place, you can buy a combo washing machine dryer unit. It's very small and they look very different. But you can get one of those for a, a decent amount of money and I can't quote it because I haven't seen one in a while but but I've seen all of that. Don't worry about your laundry. That's gonna be fine. And also to the fact that sometimes I make a video with older footage like the last one I did. Well, it's, some people have said, okay, it was confusing because it was older footage. Well, let me explain. If I go to somewhere with a vlogger and they vlog and I vlog, even when I met Psycho Traveler up in Bangkok, if we're filming the exact same place, I don't like to put my vlog back to back with their vlog where it's just the same place. I just don't. So sometimes I just hold the footage and I put it together later. Sometimes a little bit later, sometimes a lot later. So that's all that was. Yeah, just trying to spread the love. That's all. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? <laughs>